Hello, my name is Nigel Pease and I'm here at Barnsley College to have a look at some of the features and functions of Pro Tools. In this clip we're going to have a look at the Smart Tool. The Smart Tool can be used on MIDI tracks or automation playlists, but uh, in this example we're going to have a look at an audio region. The Smart Tool is selected by clicking the line above the trimmer, the selector and the grabber and gives you access to all three. It also gives you fade in, fade out and crossfade tools. If I hover over this region with the mouse, I'm in the top half of the region and you can see I've got the I-beam cursor there, which is the selector tool to allow me to make selections within the region or to place the cursor in that way. If I move to the bottom half of the region, you see the cursor's now become the little hand, the grabber tool. That enables me to select an entire region or to get hold of the region to move it in that way. Moving over to the side, I get the trimmer tool which allows me to trim from the side of the region. If I move over to the right hand side, I get the trimmer from that side to do the same kind of thing. Moving up to the top left hand corner, I get the little box which is the fade in tool. So if I click and drag, I've created a fade in just there. Moving up to the right hand corner, and if I click and drag, I get a fade out. If you've got two regions that overlap and you want to cross fade between them, then you can use the smart tool by moving to the point at which the regions overlap down at the bottom of the region. You can see the little box has appeared there now. So if I click and drag, I'm now creating a crossfade between those two regions. Those fades are created automatically when you uh, click and drag with the smart tool. If you want to determine what kind of fade you're going to get when you do that, then you go to the setups menu, preferences, the editing tab within preferences gives you this little area here which allows you to select the type of fade in or fade out or crossfade parameters that which will, will be applied when you click and drag with your smart tool. So that's the smart tool. <laughs>